What is happening guys, back at you with another video, and this video, I'm going to be listing off my top, my top ones from this year, New York Comic Con. This is like Funko exclusive, so this is why I'm going to be listing off my top ones for this year. So first off, there was a new release of another My Hero Academia character, and y'all know I'm a huge My Hero Academia fan, so this is definitely one I'm going to be getting it is Mr. Compress so this is a villain from the show pretty cool character so this is definitely going to be one that I will be getting for this year one that I might probably be picking up is going to be Nightwing I do have a Nightwing pop already but it's actually the classic suit so I do need the regular suit that he's in in this one so this one I'll probably be picking up Another one that I might be picking up is from a show that I used to watch when I was younger as a kid. I uh, definitely enjoyed the show. And this pop turned out great. I've actually been wearing this character for a, a while now. And they finally released the character. So the one I'm talking about is Danny Phantom. So this is definitely pretty cool. I like the way they did the sculpt on this character. It was pretty cool. So this one will, might be one that I will be picking up. The one I'll probably be picking up also is going to be the Venomized Magneto. I gotta say, this one is one of the best looking pops from this series, New York Comic Con exclusives. So this was definitely one I want to probably pick up. I like the Venomized line. They look so awesome the way they are to get Marvel characters and they're like, you know, Venom takes over them. They're Venomized, which looks so cool. So definitely Magneto will probably be one that I pick up. They have the Red Goblin that's coming out. Now, this one I'm kind of on the fence about. It looks cool, kind of, but all at the same time, it's like, I don't know. I'm not sure about it. Like, I kind of like the design, but it's like, on the other hand, I'm not sure. So, I'm on the fence about this one, so we'll see if I do pick it up or not. That looks really cool to me is the Wonder Woman pop, the way she's uh, per pretty much riding the lightning, per se. You can see she has her lasso. And then the lightning bolts, which is pretty cool. So this is uh, taken from the trailer, um, the Wonder Woman trailer, where it shows her actually using her lasso to ride like across the sky on the lightning storm. So it looks pretty cool. I might pick this one up. Uh, I'm not 100% sure just yet, but it definitely looks pretty cool. And I'm definitely considering picking it up. I just want to mention a couple other pops that they have here. I might not necessarily pick these up, but they're, um, I'm on the fence about them, but like, I might not pick them up after all, but I still wanted to say a couple things about them like this, uh, zombie daredevil, like it looks pretty cool. I like the zombie Marvel line that they've been doing, but at the same time, I don't know. It's, it's just, I don't know what's about it. There's something about it. I don't know. I might not pick it up right away, but maybe down the line, maybe I will. They have this new line coming out called the Street Art Line. And the first one that they're releasing for New York Comic Con is going to be the Miles Morales one. Uh, it looks pretty cool as far as the street art is on the pop. But the thing with this one is that you can't really tell like it's Miles Morales. Like the street art is pretty much covering the pop and it has a background wall. The street art itself does look cool. But the... You can't really tell what the pop is. So that's what makes it difficult to see. I'm not sure if I picked this one up. But uh, we'll see. And we have two new flocked Pokemon pops coming out. We got the flocked Pikachu and the flocked Growlithe. Now I actually do have a Growlithe common already. So I might not pick this one up right away. And then also too they have a flocked Pikachu. Which I would like to get a flocked Pikachu eventually. But not right away. And I'm not sure about this sculpt right here. I'll say that the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy pops look kind of cool. If I was more into collecting SpongeBob, which I don't really have too many SpongeBob pops right now, but if I was more into collecting SpongeBob, then I would definitely get these ones because they look so cool. They look just like the characters from the show, and they're really well done. But since I don't collect SpongeBob as much, like not a lot. I might not get this one, get these ones right away. Maybe if somehow I find them later on down the line, maybe I'll pick them up if I really wanted them. But for right now, I might not pick them up. All right, guys. So those are the one pops 
that I wanted to talk about, you know, pretty much the Funko Pops that I'll be picking up or that I want from this year's New York Comic Con exclusives. Please let me know down in the comments below what y'all plan on picking up. If y'all actually won the lottery, let me know down in the comments. Or if you do plan to go in store or just go online for your Funko exclusives, let me know how you're planning it out. Other than that, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Remember, if you want to be a part of Team Legendary, all you got to do is subscribe and turn notifications on so you know I post in our video. Hope you all have an awesome day. And remember, be legendary.